All right, class. So this is the homework help for Tuesday, quarter two, week one. All right. So it says translate. Remember, translate means to slide. And you're sliding this triangle. This is the pre-image. Uh, um, and I know it's the pre-image because there's no tick mark. So let's graph the pre-image first, okay, before it actually moved. Start at the origin. And we're going to graph Q, which is at 4 and 1. Remember, the first number is X, which means you go left, right first. The second number is your Y coordinate, which means you go up, down, second. Okay? All right. Slide this up a little bit. First number is X coordinate, left, right. Second number is Y coordinate, up, down. So this is left, right, up, down. Left, right, up, down. Left, right, up, down. Okay? All right. So this is positive 4, so that's to the right 4. Start at the origin. Go to the right. One time, two, three, four. Positive one is up one. This is where you put your ordered pair for Q. Okay? All right, so now we're going to do R. Positive one and negative two. Start at the origin. Positive one is over to the right one. Negative two is down one, two. This is your ordered pair for R. S is at positive two and positive three. So go over to the right, two, and up, one, two, three. And this is your ordered pair for S. All right, so I'm going to connect the points. This is my pre-image. So now I'm going to translate, which means to slide. I'm going to slide it. This is X minus, so that's to the left, three times. Remember, Y is up, down. It's negative 4, so I'm going down 4. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to take each one of these points and move to the left three times and down 4. 1, 2, 3, down 1, 2, 3, 4. New location for R. Oops, sorry. R prime. Q. 1, 2, 3, one, two, three, four. Move this R out the way. This is Q prime. S, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, four. This is S prime. So these are my new ordered pairs. Okay. So my new ordered pair. For Q is right here, which is over 1, down, 1, 2, 3. 1, down, 3. Okay, and so see, look, I can subtract 3. I can say 4 minus 3, which gives me 1. And then look, I can subtract 4 from Y. So that's 1 minus the 4. And that's how, and that's how I have negative 3. Okay, all right, let's do R. So for R, do the same thing. I have R is, R prime is here. So start at the origin, I have to go over to the left, one, two, and down, one, two, three, four, five, six. So negative two and negative six. And again, this is one minus three, which is equal to negative 2, and then uh, negative 2 minus 4. See, minus 4. Okay? And so that gives me a negative 6. Okay? All right, let's do S prime. Start at the origin. Go over 1, negative 1, 1 to the left, and down 1. Okay, all right. Let's do, let's do number two. You're reflecting it over the x-axis. So let's graph these ordered pairs over here so we can flip it. We have positive one and down one, two, three. That's your Q prime, okay? Then negative 2 
one, two, and down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is R prime. And then you have negative one and negative one. Negative one and down one. And then this is S prime. So now I'm going to flip it over the x axis. Let me move S down here. So I'm going to darken the x-axis. This is the x. And I'm going to flip it over this. Okay? So look, this is my line of reflection here. So when I flip it over my x, whatever's under the line, when I flip it, it's going to be over the line. If it was above the line, if I flip it, it's going to be under the line. So look, how far is q away from the line of reflection? It's 1, 2, 3. So when I flip it, it's going to be 3 above. 1, 2, 3. This is Q prime prime. Okay? This order pair is what positive one and positive one, two, three. Okay? Alright. So look, this stays the same. And if it's negative, it changes to a positive. Make sure there's no straight marks. I do R. How far is R under the line of reflection? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So when you flip it over, it's going to be at 6. You flip it over the line, it's going to land right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is R prime prime. Okay, this is the second time that this has been moved. S is 1 under the line, so when you flip it, it's going to be 1 above. So this is S prime prime. Okay? So your new location for R prime prime is negative 1, 2, and negative 6. Okay? Look how the X's has stayed the same. Oh, positive 6. I'm sorry. Oops, oops, oops. You went up 6. I'm sorry. This x stayed the same, but the y changed. So same thing's going to happen here. The x is going to stay the same, but the y is going to change. Okay? So let's look and see. For s, you went over to negative 1, and you went up 1. So see? That's the whole true. All right? Let's look at the next one. All right, so we're going to do the same thing again. It says, look, you translate. That means you're going to slide again. So now you got to graph these points. So graph them first, okay? You got negative 5 and negative 1. Start at the origin. Negative 5 is to the left five times. Negative 1 is down 1. This is A. Okay, this is A. Sorry, I'm just a little bit. Negative 3 and negative 2. So go to the left. 1, 2, 3, and down 1, 2. This is L. Okay. And then T is negative 3 and positive 2. Negative 3 and up 2. This is T. And this is a little triangle. Okay. All right, let me move this letter down here. Out the way. All right, so now we're sliding it. How are we sliding it? It says we're going to slide it or translate it plus 6. That means to the right, 6. Minus, remember, because x right is left right. Minus 3. Why? Minus 3. That's down. So we're going down 3. Okay? So we're going to take all of these points, and we're going to go over to the right 6 times, and then down. So that's T. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down, 1, 2, and 3. This is T prime. Okay? Then we got A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down, 1, 2, 3. This is a. Huh. 
Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Riley Melton to the front office, two, please. Riley Melton to the front office. This is L. Prime. Connect. Okay. So my new order pair for A is going to be start at the origin, go to the right one time, down, one, two, three, four. One, comma, four. And then. T, one, two, three, positive three, it's two, sorry, and then and one, two, negative two, okay? And L, one, two, three, and down, one, two, three, four, five. All right, and there you go. Okay, so now you're going to take and move it a third time. You're going to reflect it over the X. So this is the X. So now you're going to flip this over the X axis, okay? So we got A. How far is A away from the X axis? Count. One, two, three, four. So when you flip it, it's going to be four above. If I was to fold this, where would it land up here? It would land at four. So this is A prime prime. Second time I moved A. That order pair is one and one, two, three, four. Okay. Got um, how far is T? Okay, T is two underlined. So when you flip it, it's gonna be two above. This is where T is gonna land. T prime prime. This is one, two, three. Three, one, two. Three, and two. L is over three. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How far is it below the line of reflection? Five. So when you flip it, it's going to be five above. One, two, three, four, five. This is where L is. L prime prime. It's the second time it's been moved. Okay? That ordered pair is going to be three comma five. Okay. All right. So now I want you to do the others on your own. Let's see if you can do the other ones on your own. You have to graph it first. Graph this first like I did here. You see how I moved? It was three objects here, shapes there. It's going to be three here. You got to graph them first. That's the pre-image. Then you're going to flip it over the X. Then you're going to put those points here. Then you're going to flip it. The new points, you're going to flip it over the Y and put those points here. Okay? And you're going to do the transformations here as well and then down here. Okay? All right. All right. I want to see how well you do. Please try and do your absolute best. Okay? All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.